Look, you think showering is something your mommy and daddy must have covered already, but it's, the truth is, as you start growing up, you want to smell better, you want to look better, and you want to feel on point. The problem is that for you to be in your top apex level when it comes to your grooming game, it all starts in the shower. You get that wrong, Everything else you throw over it, it's like, it's like covering caca with Febreze. It's never gonna work. I want you to start your day off right by showering properly, so I'm gonna give you six showering rules that I believe almost every dude gets wrong. Let's hop into it. Number one, and probably the most important one, always shower in the morning. Look, my culture, I'm obviously Latino, so it is a must. Like, if you don't, I, I, I think, honestly, my, my, my dad would have beat me up or something if I didn't shower in the morning before I went to school. But here in America, it's a little bit different. You start noticing that some people decide not to shower in the mornings or they go a day without showering or they only shower at night. Here is the problem with that. It's like I said in the beginning, if you're just rolling out of bed, think about this. You just spent eight to 10 hours rolling in your sweat rolling in dirty bed sheets that are filled with bacteria, rolling in your oil, rolling in your own dead skin cells. You also sweat all night because your body never shuts off, your metabolism's still going. Then you're gonna get up after 10 hours with bed head, with a nasty breath, and completely dirty and walk out the door. It doesn't matter how much fragrance you put on that body, I'm not gonna say it, but you already know where I'm going with this. The point is, boys, you need to start your day by showering in the morning. This is a must. It is the most hygienic thing you can do to wash away all the dirt from the night and also it's like you're starting off with a clean slate with your body where any sort of fragrance or product that you throw on will actually stick to the skin because your skin is not filled with dead skin cells and sweat and oil and bacteria. You're starting clean to make sure you smell clean and more importantly you feel better. It's like a confidence boost when you start the day and you know you've taken that nice good ass shower. Which takes on to rule number two, keep your showers under 10 minutes. See, most dermatologists suggest for you to keep your showers actually under five minutes. The reality is that the more time you spend in the shower, the more damaging that warm or hot water can be. And let's be real, most of us still shower with hot water versus showering with cold or lukewarm water. The more time you spend on, you're overly drying your skin, which can cause skin irritation, which can cause microabrasions that can easily get infected and then now you're dealing with acne. So for the health of your skin and the health of your hair, keep your showers under 10 minutes max. Like I said, most suggest under five minutes and if you can, and the best trick to do this, it's to do the military way of showering. So essentially you step in, you turn on the shower head, you get soaked, you turn it off, you scrub all the way down, then you turn on the shower again, and then you rinse off. With that method, you'll be in and out in three minutes. Which takes us on to number three, avoid harsh chemicals. See, as men, most men don't care about the products that they put on their skin. Women do. This is why most of you are probably using shampoos, conditioners, and body washes that have parabens or sulfates, stuff that's damaging for your skin. And while yes, it does clean you, it has the same cleaning agents as dishwashing detergent. You're not gonna treat your skin like dishes in the sink. This is why you need to be careful with the products that you get. And this doesn't mean that certain active ingredients are bad. You just need a good mixture of natural and active ingredients to make sure you get the effectiveness of those scientific ingredients with the gentleness of those natural ingredients. So knowing this, I legit have been spending months months on our new heat grooming body wash. I kid you not, matter of fact, come with me. See, most people don't understand the months of work that it takes for us to do a launch. We've been working on this for over six, seven months already. See, what we did, what you see here is about 20 to 30 of the best selling body washes at every price point. This Joe Malone is like 90 bucks. This one here was about 110 bucks. But then we have like the low end stuff. This one was about seven bucks. The point is that the thing that they have in common is that they had the highest reviews online. We tested these for about two months, judging them across different categories from scent to moisturization to cleanliness to how they felt, the whole performance performance part, we judged them and we found the best 10 of them. We grabbed the best 10, we grabbed the ingredient list and then we saw what active ingredients were the ones that actually worked and delivered the effectiveness. We then went to four different labs and then sent that ingredient list to four different labs. Like this is a whole process, right? Then we narrowed it down to the best lab, the lab that was able to replicate the first best sample, which is what we got here. We test each sample for about one to two weeks. 
After that, we send feedback back to the lab. So this is now sample two from the best lab out of the four. This was sample three, sample four, sample five. And then what you see here is the final sample, the sixth sample. And this is like the best of the best of all ingredients of the best body washes is in here. This is the body wash that's dropping May 22nd, 10 a.m. Eastern for He Grooming. And this is why, like, I don't say it lightly when I say that this body wash will be the best thing in the market because it's the best of the best. Not only are we dropping our new body wash, we're dropping our new deodorant as well, which is a spray deodorant. This thing is amazing. I'm wearing it now. Bro, not only do you smell amazing, no sweat stains, no streaks on your clothing because it's a spray that dries clear and you're guaranteed to smell fresh all day. So we're gonna be dropping those two products Plus, we're also re restocking our facial scrub and our toothbrush that sold out and literally like, I think the facial scrubber went in like an hour. I don't want you to miss this launch. We bought more than ever, so put a reminder on your phone, that way you're one of the first ones there. Which takes us on to rule number four. Always replace your loofah at least every three months. Treat it like a toothbrush. It is surprising to me how most dudes will have their scrub or loofah in their shower for about a year plus. That black stuff you see on it, that's mold. You also have a collection of dead skin cells and of dirt in there. On top of the mold, you're basically dirtying yourself up every time you use the same dirty loofah. Personally, this is just my personal opinion, I actually like to use clean cloths instead. See, the cloths are softer on the skin and also it allows you to wash them every week or so the same way you do pillowcases. That way, every time you shower, you have a fresh clean cloth to make sure you end up fresh. Number five, never, let me say this one more time, never use a two or even worse, a three in one. Yes, there are three in ones. Shampoo, conditioners, and body washes all in ones. See, like I said, most men don't care about the products that they put on their skin. This is why these big companies can make two in ones and three in ones for men because they know men will buy it. But now go down the women's suck. I guarantee you, if you find one, I'll be surprised because those same brands understand that women would never buy that for their own skin because women are more conscious of what they put on. I don't want you to ever throw on a two or three in one. See, this is half-assing. It's basically half-assing the product, which ends up with a half-ass result when you step in the shower. I want you to have a separate shampoo, conditioner, and body wash every single time, and don't even worry about it, because for quarter three, we're already working on the shampoo and conditioner, and just like we did with the body wash, it will be the best of the best in the market. And finally, number six, never shave in the shower. See, and when I say shave, I'm not talking about trimming, I'm talking about shaving with the razor. The problem here is that most people that shave in the shower, they also leave their razor in the shower. And that really is the culprit. See, when you leave your razor in the shower, all that humidity, all that wetness is basically rusting away the blades or the steel on that razor. What happens is that the next time that you go and shave, that razor is now all dull. You are now literally scraping the topical area of your skin and then you're infecting it with the rusted blades. This is the worst way to cause skin irritation and it can be potentially dangerous. Never shave in the shower. I prefer for you to shave once you step out. That way, once you're done, you can dry off the razor with the blow dryer and now you keep your razors as sharp as possible and you keep your skin as healthy as possible. And that's basically it for this week's video guys. Those are six shower rules most men break. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to put a reminder on your phone, May 22nd, 10 a.m. Eastern. Our new products for heat grooming is launching, and I want you to check this body wash and deodorant. It's gonna fly. That's it for me today. See you next time.